Thank you for joining me. My name is Sean Lindemood, and I'll be showing you how I made these badges for a chili cook-off contest at work. Color cast on this Fabricate Sean Friday. <laughs> Today I'll be making multicolor castings of these badges that I machined for a competition for a chili cook-off. That will be red, green, and it's going to be gold, silver, and bronze colored. If you want to see how I machine something like this, I have a previous video. Otherwise, we're going to go right into casting out of this mold. The mold will be prepped with a mold release, something fancy called baby powder. Now, a lot of times this is all I end up using. The spray-in stuff I'll use occasionally depending on what I'm casting and the longevity of the mold. These are only going to get one casting, so something like this is uh, kind of overkill. I don't think I really need to use uh, baby powder all the time. It does make me feel better, but for most of my castings I will use it. The casting plastic of choice today is Smoothcast 321. It's got a nice long pot life that I can deal with these small amounts and mix thoroughly. I'll be using the Polycolor sample pack to do the colors. I, so it's hard to read because, well, I got a sample. The filler that I'm gonna be using to make it to make it thicker is the Polyfiber 2 from Polytech. To mix small amounts, I may need to use these little pipette things that I get you get a hundred pack. I'm gonna mark them with what part I'll be using so that I don't mix them up and then keep them separate. When this is all said and done, I'll have these metal strips embedded in each just a little bit so that a magnet can hold it on. And this is a little bit of an experiment, but this should work out really good. My choice in the past has been to, to super glue these on the back and that's worked out okay, but I'm gonna try this a little different. So I have 20 grams of A and 20 grams of B. I'm gonna mix them together after I put in some of my polyfiber two into part B and make it a little bit thicker than I wanna want. Once the mix is together, it's gonna to get thin. Remember this is half of the liquid amount, so however thick this is, it's gonna get a lot thinner. 321 has a seven minute working time, so this is gonna allow me enough time to separate these into two separate sections so that I can get a little bit of green and a little bit of red. If I'm gonna want this thicker, I'm gonna to have to act on it pretty quickly because I still have to mix in my color. I'm using Polytex Polycolor Red for the red part, and Smooth On's Green for the green part. Since the, since the plastic will cure up white, that'll turn out a lot lighter.
I'm going to the line and up the wall, scraping off the excess on the top. That should give us the perfect stem. Oh, that might be a little too much red. And it's already starting to warm up, which means my time is just about up. Okay, the rest of this is gonna go in monkey skull. Those will be encapsulated with plastic and at the second at the second pouring. Here it is out of the pressure pot. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna spray paint these the appropriate colors after masking them off. And we'll show footage of that here in a moment. So I'll be masking off the areas. I got a little bit messy there. That's gonna end up needing to be trimmed off quite a bit actually, but I will we're about that later. The edges will actually be fairly easy to clean up. I'll be doing this with all three colors. I have Duplicolor Gold, Duplicolor Aluminum. I'll be spraying right into the mold. So when the resin goes right on top of it, it'll bond really well with it and it'll come right out pre-painted. So I sprayed that with gold. And that should look pretty decent. I'm gonna remask the middle one and paint that aluminum colored, which is a silver, but they call it aluminum. And we'll go from there. So now the silver metal is painted. So this is an aluminum engine paint from Duplicolor. This is particular as the engine paints 500 degrees. And this is the regular paint they have, gold. One of the reasons I really like Duplicolor is they cover really well and they cure really fast. For the bronze, I'm actually using bronze infused paint by Sculpt Nouveau. I'm going to be brushing that in using a chip brush and it's going to take a little bit because it's got a cure and it's kind of water based so it doesn't really like coating silicone that well so I got to be very careful about how this is done. It just occurred to me one of the things that I could do is actually pre-coat this with a clear coat so that I'm actually brushing onto the clear coat. Bacon, bacon, bacon. So at this point, I'm gonna fill the rest of this up with black because black's non-obtrusive. So I just pulled it out of the pressure pot. I got a lot of flashing to clean up, but any luck, everything is as planned. So what happened here is a little bit of that got under the paint. So I'm gonna end up painting this again. It was a good try. Um, had this work better, I think I'm inflexing the mold too much. I think we'll call this overall a success then. These are the magnets that we'll be holding them on. They'll be able to hold them through a shirt. I am doing a black wash. After clear coating. So I broke down. I'm not really happy with how strong this is holding. So I'm gonna go ahead, I just scuffed up both sides. I'm gonna glue strip of metal directly to this piece. I just clear coated these. 
they have the strip of metal actually embedded and super glued onto the back. So I'm going to call this done. Well, I didn't win one of my badges. I got fourth place in that contest, but dang it, it was a good one. One of my good friends got third place and two very deserving people got first and second. I got fourth and I got a ladle as a prize, which is awesome. I needed a ladle and we'll see you on the next Fabrication Friday.